Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorio C Block. This is episode 180, and we're going to figure out how to get uh, the coolant loop going. Uh, so, in order to do that, oh, this is kind of tight. I'm pretty sure we need to bring filters in and out of here. So, uh, this is actually, yeah, this is just a little tight. Can we move this out a bit? Mm, yeah, or we could do, I mean, we could technically do something with, no, I think I want to move like all of this one step to the left, I guess. It's, it's a little bit of work, but it's, it's worth it at this point. Right. Yeah. And we have, you know, we have some space to, to get stuff in there and, uh, actually, yeah. I guess I don't need. I don't need to. Didn't need to remove all of that, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of critical that we do manage to get, uh, let's see, a belt in here like this. Um, so that means that we're gonna have cooling towers. So, yeah, like this would be okay, and this one is gonna be the one that. Yeah, the last step. So this is cooling from 100 degrees. Um, let me just tweak a little bit with the sound settings. GUI effects a little bit lower. It sounds kind of harsh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this sounds better. Um, let's see. I did have three in between. That's probably better, right? Like this. Okay, so you guys, we get to go. Oh yeah, that was, this is the one that's kind of loud. Is that on in another, another sound setting? Alerts, game effects. No, it should be, it should be under GUI effects, right? Confirm. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Let's keep it like this. Um, yeah, so basically this is number two and this is number three, so we want to connect these up and um, then we have uh, the water coming in and the steam coming out, um, so like this, right, and that's for a couple of them, for all of them actually, and the steam coming out, so that's over here. Same for this guy, and then we can kind of connect it up. And same for that guy, actually. Right, like this. And then we can move it over. The cooling look can go on like this. And we just need to fix this up to make sure that we can uh, get you in here. Can we move this a little bit further? Probably not, right? Yeah, that's kind of a shame, but let's just let's just not worry and do it like this then. Okay, so we have a bunch of steam that we can feed back into this stuff. Um, we're yeah, we're not sure we're gonna consume all of that, but let's see. So yeah, basically, yeah, we we should be watching. Yeah, I guess it will sort of will it auto balance. I'm not quite sure. Like the nap tie is safe for now, but the fact that basically because we're making a bunch of mineral oil, it might be kind of problematic. And the fact that we have a big ass tank in here is not gonna make it better. So maybe what we do wanna do, let's see, we do have one. Like what we could do is, is switch this over a little bit and make a top up valve out of some out of this. Then we can use the the, the inline tank to to feed stuff extra, but uh, we won't basically we won't um, yeah be be sort of uh, harassed by any other problems. Okay. So then we have uh, water coming out here, right? So let's patch that up as well. Yeah, that's all right. 
and then we have you guys and let's actually move it like this and then if we if we end up uh, doing something else then we can we can work that out so we have the hot used coolant coming in and we have let's do it like nope not like that because that's misaligned like this and then we have these guys so we have new coolant and old coolant basically uh, actually let's move you a little bit closer like this right so this is um low temperature coolant this is high temperature reduced coolant uh, these guys will get some power poles yeah and let's make sure everything's connected up yeah, and this should be okay i think yeah basically we do need to make sure we have filters over here but we can do the ceramic filter which for which we need purified water but nothing else so that's that's gonna be fine yeah so basically once we have that we can connect this up so let's let's set that up first i want to make sure that we can actually get uh, that's going let's see let's uh, use we'll need an assembler too but i want to make sure basically that we can do it in a oh we could cool the steam as well if we wanted to let's see uh, so what what uh no i want to get purified water so how how problematic is that recipe? Let's see. Yeah, so it's two seconds. We could do it. It seems kind of interesting. But I, I guess, yeah, basically. Okay, so the problem with it is that, that we might not actually, like, if we can use the steam, it's pretty nice to do so right it's just free power all around so that's that's pretty okay like we're gonna get a little bit higher temperature steam in here so that's why we have the mark twos going but yeah i think i'm pretty sure that's that's where we want to be at uh, you guys yeah, you're a little bit slow because of this but that's that's okay um we could upgrade you guys and upgrade this belt a bit that that might be nice that could help a little bit with with you guys Oh, we're actually using a decent amount of, of blue algae for this process, apparently. At least since, you know, we're seeing some here add in. So I guess this this loop is also uh, eating up some of that. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. So you're going to make ceramic. Um, yep. Ceramic filters from a spent filter and a purified frame. Uh, we'll run the purified water I guess on this side that's gonna be pretty nice and then we can just bring the frames yeah so we bring in the used frames on this side and then we bring uh, yeah uh, let's see so we're gonna have pipe then inserter then belt yeah, so this belt can connect up here and then it's gonna be okay uh, yeah, so let's set that up like this. And initially, we can probably do with just the one. You're gonna pick up from here. Okay, we have a ton more options uh, with respect to that. So that's nice. So let's um, figure out where we're gonna get the purified water. Let's see, we're making some down here somewhere, right? Yeah, over here we're making some. Let's see, where are we bringing that up? Oh, we're bringing up salt water over here. Yeah, okay, we have the purified water which runs over here. So then we could, like if we can bring it straight up, like through here, that's that's probably fine. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So we'll set it up to bring up the... the purified water straight from there that's probably nicer than uh, alternatively we could sneak it through from this end like this that's actually pretty close as well i think i'll, I'll do that 
And uh, so meanwhile, we also want to grab some alumina because we'll, we'll need to make some of those aluminum filter frames, alumina filter frames. Yeah, let's just craft a bunch and figure out whether it'll work. How's the, the copper flow going? It's, it's okay, but it could use some improvement. So we're going to make, uh, make that happen. That's that's exactly why we're doing this. Um, iron is actually also flowing at a nice pace, so that's that's interesting. Um, yep. So we're gonna bring you guys up. Uh, we have plenty of underground pipe to do this, but uh, I do need to fill a little bit of this in. Oh, we're almost out of landfill. Let's just grab some. We should have it done up here uh, let's see there we go how are we doing uh, it's actually not that much mm, so we should be yeah i guess so the fact that we're using a lot less um just the raw yeah, i don't know why that is actually why we're we're I, I guess mostly because we're, we're pumping through our backlog of ores. So that just means that we're, we don't need as much as we used to. And once we... Like even when we get going again, it might still be that the, that the whole thing is more efficient than it used to be. Which is what we were aiming for, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, I, I don't quite know how it's going to pan out. Simply because... Um, when we uh, sort of looked at this, um, basically the whole idea is that our ore production is now a little bit more efficient um, because we don't produce as ma many ores as we um, basically, um, yeah, we don't produce as many ores that we don't actually need. Um, so the question is like how, how badly or how well is that actually working out and we won't be able to know for a while actually let's see so okay so you guys are good you guys are good we have the coolant up here so yeah we're, we're just producing that up here so i guess we can bring that over and uh, let's let's just cross some more iron pipe and grab some more iron from uh, from this guy oh we're running through our iron plate backlog as well that's that's not uh, great, but I guess that that means we're gonna get some extra mileage out of the stuff that we're doing right now. Um, yeah, let's do a bunch of craft for this, and then actually, yeah, we have we have some some uh, some copper pipe in the backlog, so we can actually just use. Uh, a bunch of just craft a bunch of underground pipe and we will still be fine okay let's figure out how we want to go about this part we might uh, it's all kind of crappy we could go up here and then across here and then across there that's actually not bad let's do that yeah um so that means that you guys yeah, do we want to clean up I, i'm okay with sneaking around it for now we might want to clean up this part fairly soonish um did we lose power by doing that uh that guy lost power that's kind of critical um yep so this goes up like this we're gonna fill in a little bit over here yep and then we'll bring it up like uh, this have a little sidestep yeah i guess like this is fine we're just gonna sneak it through no one needs to know We'll fill this in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we can actually occupy this lane, hopefully. And if not, we'll, we'll sneak it out of there again. Um, 
and yeah, we're, we're crafting a bunch of underground pipe. That's good. So these guys, we can actually, can we run them here? Yeah, looks like we can. It's going to conflict a little over here, but that's fine. Like once we've got a robot base going, we probably like the logistics can be a lot based on pipes, right? And we don't actually need to um, rely. It's like it doesn't need to be as clean. Like we can do pipe spaghetti and sort of rely on that. Um, I mean, it's it's not pretty, but we'll make it work. Um, yeah, let's go over here. Uh, cross, yeah, we're good. And then we don't want to make these touch, but if we can go up a little bit, then I guess we can. Yeah, I guess this. Yeah, we won't make this. So let's do it in reverse. Let's go here. And then, oh, we do, we can't make that either. Well, I guess then we're going here. Yeah, why not? It's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, like this stuff. Okay, so then we're gonna fill up here a little bit as well. And we'll bring you guys in here. Um, like this. And it's gotta go up just a little. Can we? pass over here we can good eats okay so we're gonna need uh, to fill this in uh, and we're gonna I guess cross more underground pipe yeah I guess so okay let's figure out where we want to do the cooling I guess we want to do it like up up here or something right that seems fine we can just like uh, yeah, I guess we want to do like the the induction furnace here, and then pipe it over, and then we'll we'll be okay. We could even pipe the molten co copper over here, as to not over like not transport this too far, and instead use a pipe. But I I don't know about that. Yeah, this seems uh, a little bit further. Yeah, like that. And then we have some used coolant. Okay, this is actually fairly efficient. Nice. Getting Factorio 1.1 updates in action. Let's fill this in. Okay. And then. We're gonna need an induction for us. So let's uh, just try to start here. And roll like this. Um, inserter. We'll probably upgrade it later. Um, power pole, yep, that's good. We're gonna make molten copper. And then, let's see. So we have the, the strand casting, right? So strand. And I guess we'll need a strand casting machine, probably. Let's see. So strand, no, copper. We're gonna make copper coil with the strand casting machine and yeah, coolant and molten copper. And we're gonna get that out of it. Oh, it needs a machine too, actually. Okay, let's uh, figure out if we can do that. Um, we can't. Okay. And uh, let's see. Strand. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll need some research for that. So let's uh, prioritize that fairly highly. Uh, yeah, let's let's get this going. Um, okay, I guess we're, we're stuck on that for a bit. Um, yeah, so let's let's maybe look a little bit at how how our bottlenecks are. My guess is that it's still copper, but it's good to verify that. Um, note that our iron backlog is also pretty much going empty. Let's maybe do the prioritization here as well with the 
output priority on the right and you guys have an input priority on the left it's now on the right yeah so we can we use the the buffer to to fill like to fill it up if we need to but otherwise we like we're not gonna consume more than is needed um but the way this looks my guess is that probably the copper is the is the issue let's see this is still yeah these are going fairly hard still um we do have a bunch of oh yeah so we're still making solar panels actually this is is just nearly backlogged so that's that's where we're at with respect to this guy these guys and let's check out what's going on up here if we need any extra machines or if it's if it's it looks like it's probably just a copper right oh, there's there's a backlog over here still but i think yeah if we look at these guys it's this laser thingy which is waiting for these guys which is waiting for copper yeah that's fine uh, we'll, we'll ferry this down and basically um, figure out like how to do the, the copper stuff at a, another uh, stage um, at least like like we'll, we'll run probably run a line of um, of copper coils up here and we'll do something tricky to just to resupply that into this line like we can run a machine over here we can run a machine over here and that way uh, is there yeah there, are, there is copper used here right but, but the, yeah, this is actually the main thing so what we could do is run uh, copper coils over this and put them into plates over here and that would already be be kind of a nice substitute for the current situation and if we want to do that it would be easiest if we actually chain over the molten copper as well um, that that would be helpful and then we can just remove this machine and yeah everything looks hunky-dory then um yeah but i guess for now we're gonna have to wait let's let's just verify that we can't do the strand casting that we want yeah no this is gonna need a, a next level machine um and we are gonna do that up here i'm pretty sure let's uh, figure out if we need more than one so this is gonna consume 140 molten copper in two seconds and then the molten copper recipe is 120 in four seconds which is gonna be sped up a bit but i don't think we'll need more than one at least for now like unless we're gonna go no no because the the strand casting machine too should all already be improving a little um let's see oh we're actually we're good on the ore situation here because we have the backlog um but once we no longer have that then we're slightly short so i'm also gonna just check out uh, how stuff is doing over here um, in order to uh, to make sure we have a full flow of copper going yeah let's see how's the uh, the mineral sludge is looking pretty okay though a little like low like if we're using a lot more then then it could become problematic um let's see it looks like the is the stereotype the issue yeah the stereotype is the issue okay let's um let's get some more in here then right like if if we need more then then why not make more then yeah the, the question is are we gonna be able to but i i think we should be able to yeah just a couple crystallizers nothing on the hand yeah let, let, let's add two should be fine like everything can run some of some of these are backlogged that's okay but just adding two is probably useful 
Is this backlogged? It could become backlogged, but we have we have this prioritization set up straight, so that's that's okay. And I guess same for this one. Though that is set up a little bit weird, but I guess it works. Um, yeah, you guys. Um, and make sure that we have this okay, and then put down two power poles. And let's see. Oh, you're all outputting on that side? Then no, you are outputting on this side, but. Let's uh, help you a little bit. Doesn't really matter, I guess, but yeah. Okay. Well, these are uh, are uh, some small bottlenecks that we have. Um, this way, like we, it looks like we still have enough mineral sludge to feed everyone. So that's nice. This is just gonna be give a, a little bit of a boost to the copper output. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I want to cut this episode for YouTube, but we'll continue on stream. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.